Hello people of the internet, um, I am back with another video and this one is about tips for interacting with deaf people. Uh, I felt that I'm qualified to make this video because I'm deaf, so let's get started. So my first one on the list is to remember that we're normal. Don't be afraid to start a conversation. Don't treat us like we're stupid. Just act normal because we are normal. It's very awkward if someone asks someone that's with you how they can talk to you or um, treats you like you're completely stupid. Just be normal, relax. It's not that much of a big deal. Point number two is don't make any assumptions whatsoever. Just because someone has hearing aids doesn't mean, doesn't have any reflection on what they can actually hear. Some people with hearing aids can hear super, super well. Some people with hearing aids can't hear anything with them. Same with cochlear implants. Um, just because someone speaks really well, doesn't reflect anything about their hearing using sign language means nothing remember that not everyone can lip read um what other things don't not to assume yeah that's kind of the main things don't, don't just don't assume anything oh also don't assume that you will never meet a deaf person there's this weird idea out there i think that people know that deaf people exist know what being deaf means but just have this idea that they will never ever come across someone who's deaf um it's not that uncommon so you might you may well do <laughs> just don't assume that you'll never meet a deaf person um also my next point don't ask what we can hear and especially don't try some sort of DIY hearing tests. If you're an adult and you think that's appropriate, I don't know what to say, just just don't. Um, don't shout in someone's ear and ask if they can hear you. It's, it's, it's just so, just if you think that's appropriate, it's really not and you probably have other social issues that you need to be working on. Um, but don't ask what we can hear either. Unless you're a good friend, if you know someone, you know, and you see them a lot, it will probably come up in conversation at some point. But if you're just meeting someone and you're never going to see them again, don't ask what they can hear because um, usually it's really difficult to explain. It's not a one sentence answer. I think a lot of people aren't ask this question thinking the answer is going to be like, oh, I can hear 20% when it's normally not that simple, especially if you don't know any of the technical terms. If you have no idea what it means when I say I have a hundred decibel hearing loss um, and it's a flat line hearing loss, and you, if you have no idea what that means, you probably shouldn't be asking this question because you're just like you're not gonna it's gonna you're not gonna understand what the answer is so there's no point asking it and it requires a very long explanation it can also come across like you don't believe them or you're trying to decide how legitimately deaf they are you, you know okay so what can you hear so i can i can decide how much of an effort i'm gonna make is kind of how it comes across, which obviously isn't very good. Um, also, don't ask other intrusive questions. For example, I've come up with some examples to kind of help you, so you, so you get a general idea of what I mean by this. Um, again, if, if you know someone really well, these questions are probably going to come up in conversations, so don't worry about this is more if you're just meeting someone for the first time and you may or may not ever see them again um, some of these questions are why are you deaf why can slash can't you speak are your family deaf too why don't you know sign language 
why do slash don't you have hearing aids or cochlear implants? Um, yeah, that, that sort of thing. Just don't. There's no reason to ask it, really. Um, obviously, if you know someone really well, it's going to come up in conversation at some point. But, you know, just use your common sense. Do ask how you can best communicate with someone and follow the instructions. Um, let the deaf person choose where they sit in a room. Um, you know, make sure the lighting's good. Um, just, just ask and follow the instructions and don't make the person feel awkward about it and don't act like it's a massive inconvenience because that just makes people feel bad. I don't want to feel like I'm ruining everyone's day. Um, just don't make a big deal out of it, please. Um, I would personally appreciate when someone kind of keeps me updated on the topic of conversation and fills me in on things that I've missed. If someone says that, just ask, offer this. If someone says they don't need it, then believe them and don't do it. If someone says it will be helpful, remember to actually do it. That, that sort of thing. My next point, this is kind of a big one. Don't make weird comments that are difficult to respond to because it just makes the conversation instantly really awkward. Um, examples of these things are if that happened to me, I would literally kill myself. I think people say this in a way like, oh, wow, you're so brave for, um, you know, coming through this thing that's happened to you. Um, what it actually comes across like is your life must be so horrible, I would rather be dead than be you. What, what someone's supposed to say to that? you know how am I supposed to answer that it's it's not a compliment it's just really rude and kind of mean so just don't say that next one is your life must be so hard what am I supposed to say to that am I supposed to go oh yeah it is um it's actually really miserable <laughs> or am I supposed to go no it's fine Either way, it's just awkward. You've just made the conversation awkward for no reason. Um, next one is when someone's just met you, knows nothing about you, and starts telling you how inspirational you are. So, oh, you're such an inspiration. Being deaf doesn't make you automatically inspirational. Um, especially if you know nothing about what I've done in my life, you know. <laughs> what? What, how, what am I, how am I inspiring you? I'm just existing while being deaf. Is it that much of a, is it that much of a big deal to you? I, I, don't, I don't know, it's just weird. Don't say that. Um, and next one, the last one on my list is, you don't look deaf. So what am I supposed to, well, I am, so. <laughs> you know, what's someone supposed to say to that? Oh, thanks. <laughs> I'm so glad I don't look like all of those other deaf people. You, know, you can't give a you can't give a good answer to that. So just don't just don't say that. My next um, point on my, the list, the last point of my list is don't be weird about using the word here. Um, I received an email the other day that said I'm so sorry to read that um, when they obviously mean, oh, I'm sorry to hear that. You can use the word here. I don't think any deaf person would be offended by someone using the word here. I mean, I say it all the time. <laughs> you know, it, it's not, it's, it's not something that you have to be and if you do say it in a conversation, don't then be like, oh my goodness, I'm so sorry. <laughs> like, oh, I'm just waiting to hear back from them. Oh my goodness, I'm so sorry. Sorry, didn't mean to say that. Because you're just making the conversation awkward when it really, really doesn't have to be. Um, yeah, so those are all my points. If anyone can think of any other 
weird things that someone said to them or any other tips, please leave them in the comments. Um, that would be really helpful. Uh, what else do I have to say? I don't think that's about it. Um, I've got new glasses that I'll, I'll just show you my old ones. Just to me. Yeah, so these the ones that I'm wearing now are my new ones and here are my old ones. Can you tell the difference? These, honestly though, these glasses are the best type of glasses. There's maximum field of view for minimum weight and they're really thin so they don't interfere with hearing aids at all, anything. So I highly recommend this sort of glasses for um, anyone that needs glasses. The only thing is, it means that I can't wear a black turtleneck jumper because it just makes me look like Steve Jobs <laughs> but apart from that they're perfect um I'll actually I'll leave a link in the description to uh the glasses that I have okay well thank you very much for watching um goodbye